Hey folks, back again. This is the second construction in our review. Copy a given angle. You're going to take your compass and open it to convenient opening just so that it will, when we strike an arc, it will cross both sides of that angle. Alright, you're going to construct yourself a ray representing one side of the angle. I'll just do that next door here. So there's a ray. You just need to make that long enough so that when you strike the same arc, it will strike this ray somewhere. So here's the same arc that we had constructed in the first angle to the left. Now we're going to measure the fatness, as we like to call this. The fatness is going to be the measurement between the two points of intersection of the arc we drew in the original angle. Okay, you see that? And to show that we measured it, we're going to strike an arc. Then this is called transferring the fatness and as fate would have it, there we go, I did not make my first arc long enough, so let's remeasure this first arc. And make it long enough so that those intersect. Now that these intersect, we will draw the other side of our angle. We have now copied the given angle. The justification for this construction is side, 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 and CPCTC. Just very quickly, in the original angle, if I connect the two ends of the arc that I drew, and I connect the two ends of the arc that I drew in my copied angle, those two have the exact same measurement because that was the fatness, remember? We measured it with our, with our compass. Uh, this segment and this segment are definitely equal to each other because those are both radii of the same circle. Same thing for this segment and this segment. Those are both radii of the same circle. So those two triangles are congruent by side, side, side. And since the two triangles are congruent, all their corresponding parts are equal. So this angle A and this angle, which I'll call A prime, are congruent to each other by CPCTC. Thanks for watching.